impact with the driver. What should the club do and what should your body do? That is the topic of discussion in this fourth video in the series on how you can master the driver. Welcome back to this video series on how you can master the driver. This is video four where we're talking very much about impact and what you should be doing through impact with that driver to get better results on the golf course. If you are new to my channel, if you've not seen any of my videos before, I would love you to be a subscriber. There is a link down in the description box down below, or if you'd rather wait to the end of the video, there's a clickable link which will allow you to do just that. So as like the previous videos, we are on this 18th hole here at Finca Cortes Inn. Uh, what an absolutely stunning golf course. This is ranked in the top five courses in Spain. So if you're in the area looking to play one of the best courses around, definitely check this place out. Everything here is phenomenal. The hotel, the clubhouse, the service, just can't get any better than this. Impact pretty important with the driver. Um, and many of you watching this will kind of know what you're trying to do at Impact. Um, but it's trying to work out how we can do that on the golf course. So we're going to go through two ideas around um, attack angle and then something to do with your hips and a drill you can do there to appreciate what they need to do. If we're looking to maximise distance, and we certainly are with the driver, we would like to have the golf club moving up away from the ground as we make contact, so an upward attack angle. That helps us generally get the right launch conditions, it helps us produce the right spin and ultimately gives us a little bit more distance. It helps us maximise the distance based on our swing speed. Now, there's two little exercises I've got here, and you might find that one of these suits you much better than the other. You almost need to experiment a little bit and find out which one suits. This one, I've got my head cover probably just over a foot in front of my golf ball, and I want it about the same height as my driver head. So the first exercise will be actually just to hit shots and feel like we work the club up over the head cover. Now, you can see I've got the ball teed up. Initially, if you're not particularly good at this, doing it without the ball, would be a great start. Trying to clip a tee peg at the drive range or practice facility that you use, clip the tee peg and work the club up over the head cover. The other way we can do it is I've actually got a tee, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it from that camera, very low into the ground around about a foot before the ball. Now we know that if the golf club is traveling upwards when it hits the ball, it must have been lower at some point. So this little exercise would be where we just try and feel that the club bottoms out pre-impact and then works up. So Putting your focus after the ball and trying to work up over it, or before the ball and trying to get the club to bottom out, you might find that one of those suits you better. Play around with them, try them both, and see what gives you the best result. In a moment, I'm going to hit one where we're actually putting a drill into this, um, where we use the tee paper before as the visual, but that's going to help us with our attack angle. If you feel like your path is across to the left, you hit fade shots, you hit slice shots, I would probably encourage you to work this drill, and actually, set the golf club on that tee peg to begin with. So you'll notice as I do that, I rotate my shoulders a little bit, the club sits on the ground. What this does is it does two things. It helps me move my low point earlier, which we need to up on the ball, but it also gives me a great visual for moving the path of the club more out to the right. It's going to help you reduce some of the curve on your shots. It might help you work towards more of a draw. So a slice or a fade of the ball, maybe start with a club head behind the ball and work that drill. It's a fantastic way to move the path out right and hit some draw shots. We're gonna hit one like that in a moment. But let's quickly go through the hips. What we tend to see in the hips and what we'd like golfers to do is often a lot more aggressive than what they often believe. Here's what I want you to do. You're gonna take a starting position in posture and place the club across your hips this way and just place your thumbs on your kind of hip joints there. Now at this point, I've got a little bit of uh, flex in the knees and I've also got a little bit of tilt in my pelvis. Now, if I slowly go into my finished position with the driver, What's happened? Well, the flex that was in my knees is completely gone, and the tilt that was in my pelvis is also completely gone, to the point where my belt buckle is probably the closest thing towards the target. So let's do that again. Flex in my knees disappears, bending my hips disappears. This happens with the golf swing, with the driver. The problem is most golfers don't do that aggressive enough and actually don't do it with as much force as we'd like. I would like you to rehearse doing that with some Four. So I feel like I'm pushing up and around the target. So for me, I feel like I'm pushing upwards and rotating. There's two movements that I'm trying to incorporate here, a push up and a rotation. What this is going to do is it also going to help with attack angle because it's helping me raise the club up away from the ground. Without going into too much detail in this video, it also helps me raise the hand path up, which is a great way to add speed into that club head. So moving the hips in this way 
helps us rotate through and add some rotational speed. It helps us change the path of the hands, which helps speed in the club head. And it also helps us move towards more of an upward hit. So what I'd have you do as a little exercise is actually almost the same as the first one. Place the club on the ground and watch what happens if I just rotate. If I rotate, the club stays on the ground, I would hit that head cover. I want you to feel like using those knees and those hips, you rotate through to follow through position. Notice how that caused the golf club to miss the head cover because the movement of my body caused the upward movement of the head cover. And there's my really extended follow through position that we tend to see from the best players. Using the lower body correctly, creating an upward hit and moving the path more out to the right are great ways to add distance to your drives. Lots of people I see could add 20, 30, 40 yards to their tee shots without swinging any quicker. It's almost free distance. They've got the speed in their golf swing, they're just not putting it into the golf ball. The analogy I always use for a lot of golfers, I kind of say to them, look, you've got yourself in a Ferrari, but you're in the middle of an ice rink. So you've got all that power, you just can't get it down. You just can't use it. These little exercises are gonna help you use that energy better, use that power and transfer it through to the ball to help you get a little bit more distance. Right, we're gonna hit one. I'm gonna do that drill that I mentioned at the start, which is gonna help me move my path out right. So I'm gonna get myself set up. I'm gonna rotate my shoulders, let the club sit on the ground here. And then from here, it should help me hit a high draw. and certainly did that almost too much. I mean, I don't really struggle to hit the draw shot, so that drill for me almost makes it happen too much, but certainly if you fade through slices, that is a fantastic one. Um, I think you'd see higher ball flights, more right to left, and more carry distance as well by doing that. Right, make sure you stay tuned for the last video. We're gonna give you some practical on-course things you can do uh, about actually applying these skills that you've done onto the golf course, which is ultimately what we're all trying to do. Thanks for watching. Again, thank you to this fantastic golf course, Finca Courtesan, absolutely stunning. Um, hopefully I'm going to get to play a few holes tomorrow morning all being well. Thanks for watching. Usual stuff is down below. Comments box, like button over there. Clickable link to be a free subscriber of the channel. Three videos coming each and every week. Thanks for watching.